Hi friends, I am speaking with Pan Prabhavan. Now I am telling about how to create dynamically data grid view row. Okay, how to create a dynamically the data row in this data grid view. Okay, now how to do this one? First, I am already declared the one project already is known to that. Many more today I am told with this application from the data entry form and then also I am declared the form to tutorial also how to open the uh, uh, first form to sign form ok uh, with respect to from how to open the sign form by using the first form audit told to before tutorial now I am declaring a uh, sign form the data video ok I am declared the sign form also so in this sign form I am declaring one data grid view okay okay now i am declaring the data grid view the data entry means in this toolbox go to the toolbox and then click data grid view and then drag and drop in this case okay i am declaring the hmm, data grid view in this case okay and then extract this Okay. Now I am declaring here. Okay. Just extract here. Okay. Now I am declaring the add button one button needed. So I am just to goes to the first form and then just to copy the button control C and then goes to uh, second form. Declare here control V this form. Okay. Just and try in this place. Now you the button. 10th button ok so I am declaring the form in this place the button for the and now clicking the button uh, that time the row automatically added the data view ok so uh, first you should declare the name of to this button ok uh, first this button name I am changing here uh, row adding Row adding, okay. I'm just declaring the row adding to this name in this to this button. Okay, now when I'm clicking the button, the time the in this data grid view, the row should be added. Okay, it will be added in this place. Okay, it will be added. Okay, now I'm going to run it. See the form 2 available so i am clicking this form the first form i did and then show the second form ok the sign form shown in this place see the sign form show the button clicking but not open the data give you row ok uh, it automatically not generated the row ok i am goes to now declaring the, the row and column declaring to the same form of the data grid view just adding the uh, adding and enable the data grid view ok now adding the columns number of columns ok now um, just declare the add column uh, add column name I am declaring here uh, anyone ok uh, column 1 column 2 column 3 available so I am just changing the uh, name name and then enter Control C, Control V. I'm sorry. I'm just adding. Add column one. Oh, sorry. It will be on running time. Okay, so I'm just to stop it. And then after I'm declaring here, goes to add column ID. Then control V add and then column to name name and then just control C and then control V add it and then third one and I'm declaring gender Control 
Ctrl C and then Ctrl V and then I add it and then also I can add it um, date of birth or permission just to be able to click on declaring permission permission Ctrl C and then Ctrl V added ok now adding the four column in this place see the column of available in this place four column ok now five column available the data uh, four column only available so I am just declaring the uh, when I clicking this button the time the automatically see now available the one row ok why means in this uh, enable adding, uh, enable editing, enable deleting available so the data row available then uh, automatically created in this place ok now I am just run it uh, goes to the uh, form 2 button click and then open the uh, form now I am declaring here anyone name see the data I am declaring in this data view columns uh, and then created automatically second one of the row ok automatically created if you need me just see number of columns should be created ok so uh, it is uh, created automatically by using this one also when I uh, clicking the button that time also if you need me just uh, that time also uh, it will be created ok just um, stop it and then uh, when I uh, clicking the button that time you should need that row ok that time uh, row only added now uh, dynamically created but when I clicking the button that time I need so and goes to the uh, form 2 and uh, clicking this button in this button I am uh, editing the C sharp code for creating dynamic row ok that review one dot rows rows dot add function closed control s now the button declares so what happened in this place c i am running it and then goes to form 2 c i am declaring the button click event now having one row available again 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 number of time you clicking means the time that uh, row automatically generated and then close it now I am telling how to uh, now dynamic defaultly available one row see defaultly available one row we need not this means just to go to um, grid view the designing of the form 2 and then click the grid view and then in this arrow mark click enable adding remove so the column also removed ok ok now I am just supposed to running the div of project and then open this just now not adding the num number of rows the zero row only available so if now uh, clicking the row adding button uh, that time the rows automatically generated ok it need not miss if you want to any data if you entered means C now I am declaring this place data entry data entry data entry data entry ok and then not go on the click another row so now added this one ok ok and then if you want to know the number of rows if you want to know means just how to do this one if you want uh, how many rows available if you don't know means just see to this also available the code the message box sorry first time getting the uh, number of row in uh, one integer value ok so I am just uh, clicking integer integer getting one variable name to this one uh, number ok num equal data grid view ok just I am getting the one name to this 
row s in the data give you added row getting the variable of name integer okay in this integer value i'm declaring on the message box or any one if you want label or so means just click the label okay i'm just goes to uh, second form if you want more means uh, just i'm adding the label okay it goes to label i'm declaring here and change the font size also uh, four color also background okay background also change background and then four color also change four color white and then font size also change bold 16 okay see i am declaring here uh, how many rows you want known me just i am declaring this space just to goes to mm, uh, okay now i am declared in this label one okay if you want the known the number of uh, rows available if you want known means just to see the label declare what is the label number label one okay label one so i am going to see in this space the label one dot text equal num the variable name c the variable name just copy control c and then control v dot to string function closed control s okay and declare it okay when i clicking that button uh, arrow or row adding button so i'm open the form to see when i clicking the row button the time the when the label one okay the label one of the uh, place the label in this label one the number of how many rows available to see in this place okay just see zero one okay the first is uh, zero zero row and then click first row and then second row and third row and then fourth row fifth row sixth row seventh row eighth row okay number of rows you have seen in this place okay see automatically generated number of rows available if you want on message box means that's also you can see in this place just um, go to run and i'm declaring variable name message box message box dot show and then between declaring between to this num c this variable name control c and then control v dot to string just um, copy and paste it control c and then control v okay and then close it control s now i am run it form 2 and then click add number is to string and then add another one okay sorry i am declaring to that between this quotation single quote so sorry and stop it single quote and then to this single quote control is and then okay okay and declaring between this uh, show function okay the message box dot show number of the uh, variable name called to this label and then also message box to string okay now i am running it then now shown the string only available okay now see the zero row open the zero also available here message box also is zero and then see the first row and see the first row and then second one second row and then it's also second 
and there and there both both see the pi also seen and then here also pi is seen okay so uh, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 pi and 0 okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 pi rows available from 0 to pi okay so the number of rows added message also we can see in this place okay friends now if you have any doubt to another one of the if you have any doubt means just comment to me and then you need concept any minimal concept means just comment to me okay friends thank you i will teach to another tutorial okay uh, another concept thank you friends Bye.